Since we are following unit construction in making the skirt, we'll want to do all we can before we join the skirt to the blouse. And that means we'll put in the hem. Now some of you will be skeptical about putting the hem in before we join the blouse and skirt and try it on. But if you have altered your pattern, measured yourself accurately before you altered your pattern, you'll be pleasantly surprised to see how evenly your skirt will hang. We'll start by measuring up from the lower edge of the skirt. And your pattern will tell you how wide the hem should be. That means how far up from this lower edge you would measure. Mark that distance with pins. And then we need to turn under this lower edge and machine stitch it. That turn is usually about one-fourth of an inch wide. And with practice, you can estimate that distance with your eye and keep it even. I'll machine stitch this first turn. Here is a seam at the edge of the pleat. In order for that pleat to hang properly, the seams were left together and being instead of being pressed open. But down here in the hem, we need to press that seam open in order to distribute the bulk. The seam up in here will be taken care of specially when I turn up the hem. We'll turn the skirt wrong side out and slip it over the end of the ironing board. Turn the hem up along the pins and press. Match seam line to seam line and pin that in place. And then press right on over to the next seam line. And match that and pin it. Then if your skirt has a flare, and most of them do have at least a slight flare, you'll have some extra fullness that needs to be eased out. And you'll do that by putting a pin under one of the stitches in this row of stitching and lift it up. And do this as often as necessary across here to get the hem to fit the skirt. Work one section 
of your skirted time. By that I mean uh, between seam line and seam line. And as soon as you get all the fullness worked out all the way around the skirt, pin it in place, then you're ready to put it down by hand. You can use any stitch you like to put the hem down, just so it's inconspicuous on the right side when finished. I'd like to show you several types of hemming stitches. And I know you can see them better if I use a solid color fabric. And a dark thread. For the first one, fold the hem back so the edge extends just above the fold of the skirt. Don't use a knot. But in the edge of the hem, take two or three stitches to fasten the thread. Let the needle slide through the fold of the hem, bring it out, and pick up one or two threads of the garment. Then put it right back into the fold of the hem and repeat this step. Two or three threads in the garment. Right back into the fold and two or three threads in the garment right back into the fold, and so on. The stitches do not show on the top of the hem, and it's very hard to see them on the right side. It was difficult to show you how far apart I was spacing my stitches, because the needle was sliding inside the fold. I purposely Use dark thread, so if you look closely on the right side, you can see that they are a little less than a half an inch apart. Another hemming stitch is done by holding your hem flat. Taking one or two threads from your garment and then sliding the needle inside the fold for about a half an inch. Take a couple of threads in the fabric and slide the needle into the fold. With a little practice, you can pick up the threads and slide the needle into the fold all in one step. Third method is to pick up one or two threads and then push the needle forward about half an inch before going through the fold. Pick up two or three threads again, right opposite the point where your thread came out. This will pull your thread down under the hem, where it will not show. In all three methods, most of the thread is hidden, so it's not apt to be snagged. The first method, the second, which looks the same as the first, but was held differently, and the third. Of course, there are other methods of putting in a hem. You may want to experiment till you find one that you can do the best. Let me repeat that any method that gives you an inconspicuous hem is satisfactory. To keep the hem from puckering, smooth it out from time to time. And then take a back stitch every once in a while in order to prevent the hem from ripping out. Now here are three more points that might help. First, hold the hem in your hand so it faces you, and you can work up into it. Second, if you're right-handed, work from right to left. And third, when you make this stitch of one or two threads in the garment, be sure to make it with the threads of the fabric. And now I'll take care of this seam and the pleat. Since this seam should be left together in order for the pleat to hang properly, 
And since we spread it open down in the hem to distribute the bulk, I need to clip the seam right at the top of the hem. And then let it fall into place. One of the early steps in making the skirt was to mark the placement of the pleats with bastings. And this is how we'll use those markings. I'll crease the pleat on this first row of basting and bring it over to the second. We'll want to remove the basting that shows, but you may want to leave this that's under the hem where it won't show in, so you'll always have a mark when you're pressing in your pleat. And there's how your finished pleat will look. When you use matching thread and small stitches, it's very hard to see the hem. Now let me take a few stitches in the hem of the skirt to show you. Even with a close look, it's hard to see. In the next lesson, our dress is going to take on a more finished appearance. I'm going to join the skirt unit to the blouse.